Man, I hate trying to fill in the blanks. But this next video shows how easy it is with analytics. These are short two minute sessions designed to help you solve real problems, not just wander through the syntax. In this session, we'll be looking at what happens when we encounter nulls within our windowing clause in analytics. A quick recap on the last lesson, we looked at where the boundaries are and how to explore within those boundaries. We looked at the nth value function. And the reason that was important is sometimes we want to find not the lowest value, but the second lowest value within a window, or perhaps the third highest value in a window. And nth value let us explore those facilities. The reason that was useful is if we look at things like the order statistic wiki page, we can see that often when we're dealing with a sample of numbers, it's useful to remove the outlying numbers and then perform analysis on that. And that's where nth value might come in handy. Today's requirement is what happens when we get nulls in there. So let's look at this example. I have an external table scanned from a departmental report. Fill in the blanks and give me employee counts. So let's look at the raw data. What we've done is we've probably taken some sort of report and loaded it as an external table. Now often in reports, we skip duplicated values. So you can see that at the right, the department number is blank. That's not saying that some of these employees have no department. What it is is we're implying that the department number should roll down the screen. So effectively the first three rows would be 10, the next five rows would be 20, and the next six rows would be 30. We need a way of filling in the blanks. We've just done first value and last value, so we might think what we'll do is we'll just whack a last value in there, and that'll simply pull the department number down as we go throughout the window. But nothing happens. We still get 10, 20, 30 only in those three places. Last value didn't seem to pick up the last value encountered. Why is that the case? Well, last value actually did its job exactly as it's meant to. If we look at that far right column again, obviously the hidden text there is the fact that all those values are null. Last value respects that. So the first row it hits, it sees 10, that's the last value. The next row it sees is null, that's the last value seen. And so it simply carries it all the way down. One of the cool things with the window functions, last value, nth value, first value, is that there's a new syntax extension called ignore nulls from 11.2 onwards. That will simply make sure we pick up only the values of interest, not the nulls. Now when we run that, we can see our department number is nicely populated. Using last value with ignore nulls, we effectively filled in the blanks. Now we can answer the original question, what is the count of employees per department? We simply take that query, wrap it in an inline view, group by department number, and there's our result. We've satisfied the requirement. You can run these scripts yourself by clicking on the link below. In the next session, we'll look at dynamic windows. Until then, thanks for watching, and don't forget, keep it simple with SQL.